scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The Bible says he said to the woman, Woman, yea, had God said. So we never see him beating the woman. We never see him molesting her like tying her hand. But what left him to her? Where words did God say, Ye shall not eat of every tree in the garden? It's a question. He engaged the woman in a conversation, he made her listen to him, and she replied, Verse 2. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, verse 3. But the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God had said, Remember, he is forcing her to tell him what God said. And he did not say it by saying, what did God say? He just asked a question that forced her to reveal. He wanted to know what information God told her. So that it would become the basis. Are you seeing that now? When Satan comes to you, he doesn't talk. He does something that makes you. He wants to hear, what did God tell you? Because that's where the faith is. Listen. He said, what did God tell you? He said, but of the fruit of... Um, which is in the midst of the garden God had said ye shall not eat of it neither ye touch it lest you die so that's what God told her she memorized it and had it to heart next verse and the serpent said unto the woman what was he attacking the woman no he was not attacking the woman he was attacking the information upon which her confidence was upon listen carefully this is a warfare of informations he didn't say woman i want to attack you the woman was there and satan could not touch her because there was an information that became a shield her obedience to that information was what stopped satan so when satan come he said i want to know the, not you the information is what i want to attack and here he's saying that this is what god said and satan said that's it my attack is not on you my attack is on what is keeping you in pace with god if i can attack that thing i don't need to attack you something about your taking away the shield of faith will expose you are we together now and the bible says and the serpent said to the woman ye shall not surely die in other words forget about that thing god is saying it's nonsense let me give you another information and this is what he said verse 5 let me show you how satan operates now satan on hearing what god has told her is trying to reveal something to her for god doth know that in the day ye eat thereof then your eyes shall be open and ye shall be as gods knowing good and evil the fiery darts satan is creating a picture he's creating an idea that god is insecure He's just trying to tell you some things because he's insecure. If you walk with the information I'm supplying you, you will find out that you will suddenly become like a God. Hmm. Verse 6. All that thing Satan was saying, listen to me, was doing something to the woman. It was taking away the shield of faith. The proof that the shield had been taken was this when the woman saw that the tree was good for food 
and that it was pleasant to the eyes she had been looking at that tree all the time in in our idea of tree as we know and the bible says and the tree to be desired to make one wise this new information had entered her mind it's like a programming this woman had received another information he said then she acted what is faith conviction and the action you take based on it god told her something that was a persuasion as proposed by her husband and she kept acting on the word of god that for as long as she kept acting on what god said it was a shield satan could not touch her because god's integrity will make what she believed to remain and now satan says there's no way i can attack this woman i will give her another source he did not stop her from having faith he changed what she was having faith in now satan is not a fool many people say he's coming to attack your faith no satan has never had the business of attacking your faith he's trying to attack your faith in god you need faith to do anything even if it's to work with satan because faith is about the persuasion that comes from ideas and the action you take based on those ideas here's what he did to the woman and the bible says she gave it to her husband who was with her you see that adam was with her he was not somewhere roaming around in the wilderness love kept him there that's a subject for another day the woman fell as a result of deception the man fell as a result of love apostle peter taught us adam was not deceived it was eve that was deceived adam loved his wife and as a proof so the next time you say i love you till i die or fall inside a well or something this word is a luciferian spirit that that statement verse 7 verse 7 and the eyes of them both were open now the people who came and led prayer here cried that our eyes be open but who opened it you see that another information had created another idea satan never made any physical contact in as much as we know but he kept firing that and that did something to the woman and force god to take an action against them think about it you can't accuse satan as it were satan said what did i do i only suggested to you and you believed it and put you in a position where god himself punishes you are we together now look how serious this thing is luke chapter 4 quickly please we had considered that scripture luke chapter 4 and jesus being full of the holy ghost returned from jordan and was led by the spirit into the wilderness next verse please and all of that he was tempted of the devil verse 3 and the devil what did satan do you see now again so you know where do you think satan lands this the idea of firing that through words have you read anywhere in your bible that he sent forth his word that he released his word and when his word got to people he did certain things to them satan understands the value of words that in this kingdom dominion is through words and what words do to men that's why jesus is called the word of god the word of god if thou be the son of god notice that when satan comes to you he tries to say something to you that will force you to reveal something god has said he is not interested in you because he knows that you on your own you cannot stand so he wants to see what is that shield that shield i'm going to soon show you he said if thou be the son of god command this stone to be bread and then jesus answering him said it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word and satan said ah you know this scripture let's look at the third temptation please go to verse 6 and he brought him to jerusalem and set him over the temple and said to him now watch this now if thou be the son of god cast yourself from hence verse 10 for it is written 
first time satan did not he just said if you are the son of god but now he said oh you are using scripture i know it too it is written he shall give his angels is that is that not true this is bible here satan is quoting the bible he shall give his angels charge so jesus don't you no longer have faith in the father what has happened to your faith that you cannot jump ah don't shame me don't fall my hand he said I, i'm aware that there are angels that protect you jump as a proof that you have faith if jesus jumped something would have happened to him that will change the course of history <laughs> i know you are surprised that if jesus had jumped do you know what made him the living logos ah. you, you know if you read the bible don't just read the bible for the sake of devotion what would have happened if jesus jumped i know many of you would have ah, no, no matter what they would have come to catch him and all of that see they said we do not have a high priest who has not been tempted why will the bible use that word for jesus tempted like us yet without sin meaning there was a possibility it would have happened are we together now yes and jesus he said for it is written so you see satan does not necessarily stop you from having faith because whoever gave you the shield is the one who defends it so satan just changes the object of your belief and your conviction and he leaves you there believing you have faith and destroy your life and wreck you he knows what he's looking for the shield of faith let me tell you this the bible never said having the shield of faith it says taking it there is something you are going to do to be do you know what the shield of faith is the shield of faith is not the written word logos the shield of faith is what god has told you that he's committed to defend over the issue you want what god has told you that god looks at you and says joshua no man will be able to stand against you that is the word satan is looking for not just the one you just find anyhow in scripture there is a rima word there is a revealed word for you that is the basis of your lifting for instance god can look at a woman and before you had your children god can say i covenant with you that none of your child will be wayward that's what satan is looking for no matter all your bible study words he will not bother because the strength of your children's remaining is your believing that word the day you stop believing it you have taken away the shield of faith and given satan room to wreck your children are we together god gives you a word and says surely surely you will have your children and there will be no barrenness you will be surprised that satan is not interested satan is not interested in what is written he's interested in what god said to you not to everybody let me tell you something the proof that god is ready to walk with you is that he gives you something that is the basis of believing him there is nobody that rises in the kingdom without a revealed word from god that becomes the basis of your confidence you want to start a business you go to god and pray and while you are praying either the holy ghost speaks to you or you a scripture jumps out and that word you see is where the attack comes from satan will begin to use things to fight that word the goal is to bring you to a point listen brothers and sisters warfare much more than the war of spirits is the war of information because your conviction is based on what your mindset is carved upon are we together words this kingdom is a kingdom of words men fall by words men rise by words men reign by words when you see a woman unbending satan is trying to whip her family bad news when satan went before god listen he said 
satan have you considered my servant job a man that feared god and eschewed evil what did satan say he said you have built a hedge around him go and find out what that hedge is it was a secret that god gave job that he obeyed every time and as long as he obeyed that secret it was not a secret for everybody it was a secret that was uniquely given he said job this is the secret of your prosperity someone else will do it it will not work it's a secret between me and you and for as long as job obeyed it satan called it a hedge no matter how he tried to attack job it didn't work and he said lord please make job to do something give me access to the hedge job lost everything only his wife was standing and satan now began to manipulate the wife so that the one last word that is left and job said no though he slay me yet i would trust him and satan said my god i thought i would finish this guy i had reduced him down the one last string that would give me victory over job job has refused he still held that shield like a man beaten and would not let it go and the bible says job had his life restored again you can frustrate satan by keeping what god said to you no matter what he says no matter listen every one of us here there are there are parents that god told certain things but the economic hardship is frustrating them now they are buying into another principle are you getting what i'm saying now the victory is always in what god said not just your action if you act by yourself you are on your own until god gives you the matching order you cannot take a step so every time we want to command victory in the spirit the first action is to build conviction not based on what god said to us what he said to you that you have received there are things god has said to me as a man of god and as a man that is the basis of my confidence there are things god has told me you see that he may not have told you that we have the bible generally that teaches us the character of god but i'm showing you a mystery just this on its own is not the shield of faith this is the whole armor is something about it that becomes a shield just carrying the bible and move you are carrying an armor but there is a way it can become a shield the moment the rhema comes to you that's a shield god says use it use it carry that shield stand before the labor market and say when i was praying before i rounded up service god told me that i will always cause men to lift you that's the word that's the shield of faith satan comes and says but if it is true that god said it don't you have an uncle that is in nmpc he's doing something to you he's not just challenging your faith he's challenging the word of god what he's doing is he's shifting the shield you are a sister and god gives you a word they shall obey and serve him he shall bless them and god said just serve me and me myself god this is not a word for every lady is the word he gave you serve me and i will bring your husband that's what god says are we together now now look at this let me have your attention please this lady is serving god and all of a sudden satan comes with all kinds of gimmicks when satan comes and is looking at the workforce of that ministry he's not interested in the people what do they believe until you have revealed to satan what god has said he remains helpless so he has designed a way of finding out he because he knows that believers respond by confessing the word so he attempts to touch your life and hears what you say in response you're speaking will tell him oh this is what god has said all right let's negotiate this is what god has said hey, Jimmy, god said you will prosper did god say you will really prosper and then you say that and he says okay look at everything around you you have brain does it look like god and you say ah oh, god you just took away the shield he will strike you in a way satan will never my bible says listen it says with the shield of faith if you refuse to bend it 
no matter what kind of that satan sends that shield that faith can quench it a spiritual man is not just the man that prays in tongues a spiritual man is the man that has mastered placing value on what god has said that you can hold it and say do he slay me madam you have all kinds of things the way we are looking at your case you may never have a child you say thank you doctor i understand you get back and say lord i remember i came for koinonia miracle service and you used a man of god to speak to me lord have you forgotten that you said i'm so before december i will have a child and satan uses a dream to try to change your mindset you have a dream and you see yourself losing a baby when you get up physically the devil now says how about that dream satan knows that images are the keys to killing men he will use images and whip your intelligence the bible says to be carnally minded is death so you look at your bank account and you look at it and you see that all you have is one thousand naira and god speaks to you and say son by the end of this year you own a house and then the devil now tries to be scientific the word of god has the potency for accomplishment remember it's a sent word it's not a red word it's a sent word the word has become a messenger and every messenger must be obedient to his master remember the word of god is living so we're not talking of just a thing the word of god sent on Aaron. the angels follow that word to find out where the word needs their help to cooperate with it until it comes to pass your assignment is whilst that is you are the only one who can stop that word from coming to pass by taking away the shield there are many men of god who have taken away the shield of faith god told them things they saw things their eyes were open to revelations i've said it if i die today of sickness the last word that comes out of my mouth is by his stripes i am healed when we get to heaven god will either apologize to me for failing me or reveal to me where i missed it are you seeing that it says through faith time will fail me let me show you men who use this thing in the bible time will fail me to talk of gideon and jephthah and barak are we together is a man who through this faith subdued kingdoms joshua look at joshua and caleb he said we are able to go up at once yes there are giants but what did he tell us he said we are bringing you moses when you came from the secret place you said god said from from egypt the land of captivity to canaan to canaan not wilderness i won't die here it's true we saw the anarchies it's true we know they are not pure human beings but he says the shield can give you an ability an ability and satan fires his arrows and human beings even pity you but when everything is gone you lift up ah and you say i'm still standing oh you thought it would destroy the ministry but i'm still standing you thought it would destroy my home and satan says what do i do with this person now listen let me tell you this everybody you see lasting in the kingdom understands this how to use faith as a shield the word of god must become your new eyes tonight are you hearing what i'm saying that the same way you have an eye pick what god said and let that become your system of interpretation that you can sit down in your room no gary and yet you are rejoicing and satan says let's let's cry together because you are making a mockery of yourself he will even use believers this is what is dangerous he will use believers you better use your brain you are you are a stupid person you are just serving the lord like a fool you better settle down and he said no i know him i know him father if it be thy will but god already spoke to him he knows why you are coming to die nevertheless nevertheless and since i said no, what do i do with him there is nothing satan can do with a man who will not find offense in god 
there is nothing satan can do to a man who will not blame god when satan pushes you and you do not charge god with guilt i tell you have this let me tell you this i don't know if you have been taught or not but hear me i found out a secret about satan he can be tired you know how a man can be frustrated have you ever seen a man trying to do something and he's frustrated you are trying to kick a car and after one hour this thing is not working and you just dump it that thing can happen to satan a believer can weary satan that satan will see you and mind himself it is true jesus did it and he left jesus for a season he said i'm tired there's something he has told me god there is nothing on earth that will dwindle me the bible calls one who has fallen to the prey of satan a double-minded man he said let that man not think he will ever receive anything that means that person if there's no it, whatever it is that he thinks you depend on men satan will use them to manipulate your mind god will tell you start this business and the devil tells you look be careful he will use it is written I hope satan spoke to god he will speak to you and you will hear him so don't you think every voice that speaks to you just because it is scriptures is of god the fact that you just had a scripture that you can get the verse and chapter does not mean it is god satan is not a fool when he comes to you he says and you know that wisdom is profitable to direct and you say well, thank you holy spirit no no you need discernment discernment to know that although this is scriptural this is against the revealed word to me something is wrong listen if you want to rise in life and you want to reign in life listen to what i'm telling you your dominion in the final analysis will be on the strength of your staying power to say i'm not bending if i perish here is that kind of statement satan doesn't want that's the kind of thing that drives him crazy when you say satan i'm angry he says oh, you are human you can change you come to church now and dance up and down but when satan sees your tears and you say satan if you are expecting to hear from me tomorrow that i've given up you are joking are we together job said though he slay me yet will i trust him all the days of my appointed time who told him the time was appointed i will wait until my change comes jesus said destroy this temple i'll build it in three days do you know why jesus resurrected it wasn't just because he was the son of god it was because the revealed word had declared that the grave would not be able to hold him there had to be jesus himself held on to a word in death and the word brought him back to life hear me believers the starting point of your victory is holding on to something that has been revealed something that god has said something that god has said there are things god has told me if god said it's a year of signs and wonders it can be a general word for everybody but in your place of prayer you will hear something from that word that becomes your word it's up to you now to hold it and say lord i thank you it's a great peace of day that feared that fear him in nothing in nothing in nothing do you know there's a revelation that i have and god gave me that revelation luke 10 19 he says behold behold this is god talking to me not not believers god is talking to me joshua selman behold see conceive as a reality in your spirit i give you power upon snakes and scorpions to tread upon snakes and scorpions and every power of the enemy that's your revelation let me tell you my own and nothing shall by any means what is by any means mention the means of transportation you have air you have land mention the means by which satan can use to afflict people covenant whatever it is your own faith level self the bible says by any means hurt you i can't believe this one for you but it's the revelation that keeps with me that's the reason a herbalist can call my name in the shrine 
and die for nothing reduce his lifespan while i'm sleeping i'm not even praying about it because even in my sleep there is a shield you see it's not something you wake up and hold listen i have said it for a long time there is no mortal man born of a woman that can kill me it's not pride i'm standing on something god told me it's not just i shall not die but live that's a general revelation there is something god told you that you hold god told bishop oyedeko go and build a fifty thousand capacity sitter it cannot be done humanly but that was a revealed word and regardless of the odds he kept that shield of faith and in nine months that word came to pass satan notwithstanding god declared a word to us as a ministry declared a word over the teachings over the things we are doing and we have kept that shield of faith no matter what it is kept what you see today is a product of the staying power of faith hmm. tonight's call is a call to take back your shield do you know why he said take it back because for some of you you've thrown it he said take it take it take it take it apostle god told me by november i'll be smiling take it i remember a lady that i i spoke to i can't remember we were joking with her and i told her i said by december this year you'll be heavy and the lady was smiling and all of that and i said you see that now you didn't believe it and we we're cracking jokes with her now if i'm joking it will come to pass you see that because i'm human i can joke doesn't mean that everything i say is the word I, i'm a human being we can play and joke but when it is the revealed word of god and you hold it god will surprise you you hear all these maybe miracle alerts and all of that it's unfortunate for people who don't believe this thing can happen the word of god except it is not sent if the word of god is sent brothers and sisters once you hold that shield just be watching satan like elijah while they are crying on bile for money look at elijah was mocking them his shield was there secured he knew what to do he knew the mysteries that will bring fire he was not guessing and he said call on your god you only mock satan when your shield is there and you look at him and say satan look at how elijah mocked them and said maybe he's sleeping call on him louder and when it was time he didn't just start saying lord and you don't disappoint me no he said set me the altars i know what to do bring 12 stones put water on them put the sacrifice and he cried upon the god of heaven and fire came and licked it faith is not mechanical there is no faith when there is no revealed word there is no faith when there is no revealed word let me tell you something I'm, I'm careful when I'm sharing testimonies like this one day I was praying I was praying in the spirit very deeply and all of a sudden the word of the Lord came to me and this is what the Lord said he said I am sending 1,000 titers to the ministry and 1,000 titers to your life the word. I said what is the meaning of this I wrote it down 1,000 titers to the ministry 1,000 titers to your life as pe people in the ministry are more than that and then I went to sleep and all of a sudden in my eye I started seeing business organizations and individuals and all of that saying the Lord spoke to us to come and be paying tithes some to your house some to you and I got up I said Lord is this it and the Lord said if you believe it and you receive it I will surprise you you don't have to know where they will come from you see that and all of a sudden I said Lord I'm a believer I take your word brothers and sisters it was like a charm 
hello is this koinonia this is so 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 and so company in lagos am i speaking to this and that um you are apostle joshua selman please give us the ministry account number the lord instructed us as a business that the tithe of this company for as long as we exist should come to the ministry and god said keep counting i said one thousand not just people giving you see that listen I'm, i that's why i said i'm sorry if it sounds arrogant but i'm telling you you reign by the word you receive you reign by when god sends it you can reject it a word was sent through gabriel to mary the holy ghost will come upon you she would have said get out please and that's it the holy ghost would have gone to look for another virgin somewhere and said this this mary she has not but mary said be it unto me according to your word do you know the controversy that followed that word mary you are pregnant who got you pregnant a ghost you are joking it's either joseph or one rabbi she said no god told me an angel just appeared to me and god kept his word and jesus was born many of us would have birthed certain things if only you held that shield when it was one week for the prayer to be answered you gave in to satan and you threw the shield tonight my assignment in this prayer is that we are taking back that shield lord i've become a believer again i remember what you told me in 1992 i don't know what took my attention away but lord i'm remembering it again some of you when you go back there are the old notebooks that you wrote things that god said god described your destiny but because it was too big you just closed it quietly go back tonight take back that shield lord i'm a believer take it and watch satan watch faith rubbish satan in your life listen in this prayer and fasting i'm demystifying satan for you the honor that has satan is human satan is a man he's not just a spirit he was once listen satan was once the head of a civilization on earth what jesus was sent to represent there was a day satan was sent to do it satan one time was sent on earth to be the revelator of the love of god to the then inhabitants that's what gave him the authorization to capture the people and say this god up there have you ever seen him am i not the one representing him that's why romans say who shall say let's go up and bring him down for us the word is nighty christ himself came and said let it not be that god does not want to come to men now i have come not an angel i have come by myself the garden of eden was not created for adam and eve the first occupant of the garden of eden is satan ezekiel 28 that was in eden the garden of the lord he was there because of our wrong believing we have given more power to satan than should be i told us yesterday i know some of you don't believe it that there are angels today that have fallen that have nothing to do with satan it was not satan that threw them they were rebels another group of angels they are bound today in everlasting chains the devil and his demons are not bound in chains there are demons today now that are bound in chains the only reason why satan has not been bound is because there was a time given to respect his will for choosing to reject God. When Jesus was going to cast out the demons in Gadara, he said, have you come to destroy us? Respect the rules. There is a time, but the time is not yet. So what you can do now is to cast them and create a system of keeping them at bay. The destruction as it were, is something that there is a time appointed. God respects it. That's what makes Satan look powerful. So he comes to you and says, I am indestructible. Are you not seeing God's frustration in destroying me? It is not God's, it was Michael that casted him down, not even God. You wait and see how God destroys Satan. It is fire that will come from his mouth and consume the creature. Flood will never happen on earth again. It is now the ministry of fire. Are we together now? It is with fire that Lucifer will be destroyed so God's withholding him 
or withholding his hands from lucifer is not a sign of weakness but he takes advantage of our ignorance and makes it look like his continual dominion is proof that god is weak there is a time he has been conquered for the saints but his ultimate destruction will be done by god's sovereign power when the time appointed has reached but with the power and the strength of the word of god you can keep him at bay you can keep him that's why i cast out devils here and i drive safely i go home and sleep otherwise they are supposed to appear to me and say since you casted us in Cornonia, we are here in your house beg them to come if you ever meet them this is not just some bold statement beg say satan please come you can know this thing and carry your shield and pass satan and he will pass you and you will move brothers and sisters satan is not what we think he is he has used words he has sent fiery darts into the minds of preachers into the minds of book writers and they have in error magnified him beyond the proportion of his true size by light we are bringing him down to say look satan your only strength is in your ability to capture the belief of the saints and manipulate their understanding so the real warfare is not physical the real warfare is using the shield of faith to maintain that truth of god's word and that in maintaining it you force the integrity of god to appear in the scene are you hearing what i'm saying because we are going to pray tonight satan's greatest weapon is doubt unbelief he manipulates your mind he knows what your eyes can do he knows what your ears can do these are the gates to his dominion in your life he sends those fiery darts he uses dreams he uses your physical experience he uses the news you hear and they just tell you look in the world now it is ratio four ladies to one man so the chances of a lady marrying he uses the media to sell you that information while you are reading the article you are imagining yourself four rows behind and then he tells you look um, just know that there is no marriage for you and if at all it happens you cannot have a child there are women who believe once they are past 45 50 they can't have a child again and information proposed it to a territory we have doctors here so based on what you is it's an opinion but it's an educated opinion are we together yes so a man you go to the hospital and a woman and they say you are impotent and you are barren look at the reports and you look at it and satan steals into that conversation and says see it you to use your brain what is, are you didn't you go to school based on what they taught you what is the analysis but at that point you lift the shield of faith and say there is another report he said whose report many many people will give you reports satan will give you reports science will give you reports your culture will give you reports well-meaning believers will give you reports but whose report will you believe i choose his report i choose his report i choose his report i know what he's told me i choose his report forever oh lord thy word is settled forever oh lord thy word is settled forever oh lord thy word is settled He told joshua no man shall be able to stand against you all the days of your life and so when an angel appeared to joshua joshua removed the knife he said are you for us or against us he would have killed that angel the word of god on joshua would have killed that angel if he did not explain he said no calm down calm down because he was moving on a word if it be thou bid me come come and he started walking on the word and the moment he satan did not take him out of the river he only took his face away and he started to sink listen let me challenge everyone my brother my sister it will take faith to be established in this life brothers let me tell you this there is no guarantee anywhere that is a job that will lift you there is no guarantee anywhere that is even your business that will lift you you will need to take a shield of faith the statistics are scary if you believe them you will never build a house forever 
if you believe them you will never own one land let me talk to my brothers first sisters we can come to you but let me talk to my brothers because the world is selling us a lie and we're believing those garbages i don't have any godfather anywhere i don't have anybody anywhere ah this god this god that can pick a man from the dung hill overnight when a young man prospers fast people get angry i don't believe in all kinds of wrong schemes and all of that but let no one fool you that god does not give people speed of lifting an establishment don't let anybody come and say take uh, take it easy what they mean is be careful for something and the bible says, be careful for nothing take it easy when you are 45 and you buy your first car it's all right you can give god glory for as your child can go to another school doesn't make sense doesn't matter what they teach as soon as you can afford it's a proposition don't just see it as an information is a that but when you believe god's report we have been taught that everything in life you buy it so all you are looking at is money not god but the bible says they got the land in possession not by their own sword neither did their arm save them that the god of heaven can arise when you teach people superior spiritual strategies they will ignore it that's what makes people get angry once you see a young man with the blessing of the lord everybody starts getting angry and suspecting and an bitter hatred because they they don't know what what formula did you route this possibility from no sir it is unto you according to your faith it is not unto us it is unto you blessed is she that believes for unto her not her and her neighbors unto her alone there shall be a performance of those things that were spoken 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 we are going to pray i'm taking out time this is not a little issue at all you ignore it you will fail in life brothers and sisters listen the fierceness of today's world satan has captured the media he has captured every mechanism that transfers information to men you just need to go out and there's unbelief everywhere wake up in the morning the news is unbelief go around the news is unbelief enter a lecture hall unbelief your job unbelief you must say no i reject that report i reject that report there are people today they said nigeria is in a recession they started going down they are not even working for nigerian government but just because they they received the report they started whether or not there was a recession the truth is they are not even doing anything they just believed and went down i reject it ah the bible says there was darkness in egypt but in goshen the light when the angel of death was slaughtering people like animals there were people in goshen who were moving and enjoying you can exempt yourself not only by light not only by the sword of the spirit you can hold the shield of faith you can use your faith not just as an instrument to receive things but it keeps you until the word of god manifests hallelujah do you believe what i've shared with you rise up on your feet let's pray Sing it two more times. Are you ready to pray? The first prayer point is that you are going to pray and say, I sanctify my eyes and my ears. I command you to refuse any report that is not of the Lord. Lift your voice and pray. I command a sanctification that my eyes be purged with eyes out.
that the gates of my ears come on that divine covering lift your voice and pray I command it I command it my eyes and my ears immune to the issues of fear and doubt Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare tonight that I am a believer. A believer of God's word. God cannot lie. God cannot fail. Therefore, every spirit of doubt, of fear, of unbelief, I cast you out of my life now. Lift your voice and pray. I command doubt. My God is alive. My God is alive. My God still prospers. My God still heals. My God still delivers. My God still restores. I believe, I believe, I believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe the word of God, then let's pray three or four scriptures that can be for us as a rema word that we hold on to. Ready? Psalm 112. Psalm 112. Psalm 112. There is a prayer I want us to pick out from there and cry to God. He said it's a year of signs and wonders. Don't mind the naysayers. Don't mind those who mock you. He said, praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. Number two. This is the first prayer point. His seed. Your seed is not just your child. Your ideas, your business, your goals. is whatever comes from him. His seed shall be mighty. Lift your voice and say, My seed, I command you to be mighty. Lift your voice and pray. Your physical child, your ideas, your influence, I command my seed, be mighty. Be mighty. Spiritual seed, be mighty. Financial seed, be mighty. This seed shall be mighty. I command it. I declare it. I will not be small. My children will not be small. Prophesy it. Poinonia will not be small. The waters will not be small. My seed shall be mighty. 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 I believe it. I believe it. Hallelujah. Do you believe what you just prayed? Because when I say seed, ladies say I don't carry the seed, I only receive it. So the devil will deceive you in not praying. No, seed is not just for men alone. 
your seed is anything that proceeds listen one of the ways to command influence is through your seed you send your seed on assignment bill gates sent his seed on assignment zuckerberg sent his seed on assignment wisdom is justified by her seed her children listen in life if you are the only one who is mighty you have failed it is the might of your seed that maintains your position nobody rises alone you rise alone in your family and all those under you don't rise and watch them bring you down again by themselves he said his seed we are going to pray it again lord the spirit of smallness the spirit of mediocrity that keeps me and everything that proceeds from me small i cause it in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray my idea my dream my seed shall be mighty my seed shall be mighty my seed shall be mighty. My seed must be mighty. My seed must be mighty. In the name of Jesus, everything that proceeds from Koinonia must be mighty. The teachings mighty. The revelations mighty. The miracles mighty. Give us the next verse. I want you to pray this scripture. He said, wealth and riches, they are not the same thing. Wealth is different from riches. He said, both of them. You can have wealth and not have riches. When you have a great idea in your mind, you have wealth. But if there's no money in your pocket, you are wealthy, but you are not rich. You can have money, but no idea, no system of replenishing. He said, both wealth and riches will be domiciled. They won't be visitors. That means wealth and riches are spirits. You can call them and say you are welcome. Hey. Just like goodness and mercy. Lift your voice and call them for Lift your voice. The Bible says wealth and riches shall be my house. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Wealth and riches shall be in Koinonia for the sake of the gospel, for the sake of the kingdom. Wealth and riches shall be in my life, shall be in my house, shall follow my children, my children's children. Hallelujah. The last verse is a prayer that many people don't understand. It's a waste in life if you spend your life building something that in one day just crashes. There is a spirit that destroys the good works of men. The Bible says his righteousness endures. His righteousness, his good works, the testimony of your impact remains forever. There are people who are in ministry for 30 years. Then in one month, something happens around your life and crashes everything destroys the testimony forever you are going to lift your voice and say what the lord do it he do it forever in my life there is no rising to the tomorrow to lift your voice and pray his righteousness and just forever Pray, <laughs> 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 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Was he praying against the spirit of poverty? Isaiah 45. Verse 2 and 3. Isaiah 45. Please be angry and pray. Don't join the people who have kept people in, in penury and destroyed the heritage of the faith upon their life. He says, I will go before thee and make the crooked path straight. He says, I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. Verse 3. And I will give thee, I will give thee the treasures, the treasures of darkness. Brothers and sisters, this is not a parable. It's not a parable. I will give thee the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I the Lord which calleth thee by name I am the God of Israel and say Lord the hidden riches that belongs to me I'm ready to receive it in this season for my family for the gospel for the kingdom pray in secret places that my father could not find, that my mother could not find, that my lineage could not find. Open down my eyes that I may see. Open down my eyes that I may see. Hallelujah. We are praying scriptures. Isaiah 58. Give us verse 11 and 12. Powerful prayer. Isaiah 58 verse 11. I'm giving you shields that you stand upon. And the Lord shall guide thee continually. There are people whose lives are suffering today because they lack divine guidance. Thou shalt hear a voice from behind. Everybody's running this way. You run and crash with them. He says, the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in recession. That when there is drought, he will not only give you, he will satisfy your soul and make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be like a well-watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters fail not. Verse 12. And they that shall be of thee, thy seed again. You see that now? And they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations. Thou shalt be called the repairer. That in this family, nobody ever rose. But all of a sudden, there is somebody called the repairer. The fixer of the cost. The repairer of the tragedy. Lift your voice and pray this picture. Lift your voice and pray. The repairer of the bridge. The repairer of failed marriages. The repairer of destructive destiny. If I were you, I will pray this next prayer with all my heart. Isaiah chapter 60. 
we are reading from verse 10 to 14 in fact 10 to 15 listen brothers and sisters believe everything you are about to read these things are not something that was written to some ancient people hear what the bible says and the sons of strangers who will build koinonia who will build your house no you can choose to save for it you can believe that strangers can arise listen the sons of strangers the seed of strangers shall build thy walls their kings the word minister is so so into your life their kings shall minister unto thee for in my wrath i smote thee but in my favor i've had mercy on thee next verse therefore kabaraka toskia thy gates shall be open continually listen it says they shall not be short that's why you can sleep in the night and still wake up with an alert he said day night that men who are those who will bring it men that men may bring unto you the forces of the gentiles and their kings may be brought we are reading to verse 15 quickly for the nation and the kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish yea those nations shall be utterly wasted next verse 14 it says the the glory of lebanon shall come unto thee the fir tree the pine tree the box together to beautify where the place of my sanctuary and i will make the place of my feet glorious 14 we are reading to 15 the sons of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves at the sole of thy feet they shall call thee the city not a person not a jimmy that you were born in a cave but right now you are a city it says the city of the lord the zion a one man becoming a city 15 whereas thou has been forsaken and hated so that no man went through thee i will make thee an eternal excellency a joy of many generations open your mouth and turn it to your prayers one isaiah we're going to pray just two more prayer points and we're done listen you're going to lay your hands on your head your head is a symbol of your glory listen the bible says arise it's a command if you don't rise you are in disobedience it say arise do you know what arise means come out come out of limitations limiting beliefs in the next one minute I like you to bless and prophesy that my glory arises. I command you. <laughs> 
your glory arises. Koinonia, your glory arises in newer dimensions, greater dimensions. In ministry arise, in business arise, in influence arise, in power arise. Arise, arise, I command it, arise, arise, shine, 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 regardless of the village you came from, arise, shine, regardless of your level of education, arise, shine, regardless of your gender, arise, shine. Hallelujah. Listen, before we take the last prayer point, let me give you an assignment tonight. As much as God grants you grace, eh? find like four or five scriptures tonight. Don't just snore yourself into tomorrow. Are we together? One of the best ways to pray faith prayers is to pray scriptures directly. Yes, sir. Just find a scripture and pray it in tongues till it leaches onto your destiny. That's how I pray sometimes. I just begin to speak directly. Lord, this is what you said. I believe it. And you watch the God of wonders arise and surprise you. Are we together? I began to feel strongly my spirit after I went back yesterday that the Lord was leading us to pray especially along the area of this release from financial captivity huh? we are spiritual people yes, and sir. we love the Lord but let me tell you the truth there is no dominion if God does not free you and free your hand and free your children one of the greatest way to be a slave is to keep you a beggar are we together he said the rich ruleth over the poor and the borrower the borrower believer the borrower tongue talker remains a slave to the lender this is not some money mongering ambition of people who don't love god these are people who understand the systems of the kingdom are we together now yes so we're still going to be dealing with these things i believe if god grants grace subsequently but for now we're just going to pray one last prayer one last prayer there's a separate i'm sure that between now and friday i don't know which of the days but god will grant us time to pray on it but the last prayer that i want us to pray is found in luke 6 38 the b part the b part of luke chapter 6 and verse 38 Good measure pressed down listen shaken together give us amplified look at what amplified writes very funny and very interesting good measure pressed down shaken together and running over shall they pour into the pouch formed uh, or whatever it is and all of that it says for with the same measure you meet that's the same measure that will be given to you uh, there's a version that says um, shaken together to create space for more but for time's sake it says shall men go back to, to King James the word men is the word I want us to pray tonight. good measure press down Joshua Selman shaken together running over shall men shall shall where will the alert come from the favor the breakthrough the job the access say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus 
I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. I prophesy to the west. Every man, every man, anointed by God, anointed by God, to lift me, to lift me, to bless me, to bless me, to open a door for me. Tonight, tonight, I call you into my life. Open your mouth and pray. Good measure. Good measure. In business, good measure. In ministry, good measure. In your job, in your career, good measure. In your family, good measure. Press down. Shaking together. Running over. Shall men in Zaria. Shall men in Kaduna. Shall men in Lagos. Shall men in London. Shall men in US. Men in, 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 in Asia. Shall men in the village. Men in the city. Men on the mountain. Men in the valley. Believers. Unbelievers alike. Shall men bring. I call on the gift of man. I place a demand on the gift of man in my life, in this ministry. I call on the gift of man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. There are many challenges that our loved ones are in now. It's only a man sent by God, not called by you, sent by God that will take you out. He said there was a man sent from God. His name was John. Sent from God. There is a helper sent from God to the Adegbeye family. There is a helper sent from God to so 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 and so there is a helper listen nobody helps you just because they know you don't let anyone fool you they can know you and say i'll see you tomorrow nobody just helps you like that in this wicked world that we live in but there is a man he can even be a cyrus sent from god listen everybody that has risen in life will tell you they met a man who fell in love with them yes, sir. and let me tell you how you know it is of god is that it does not make sense yes, there is no reason why that man should be committed to you that's how you know this one is the finger of god yes, what is house that god cannot send a man to give what is a car that god cannot send a man to give what is school fees that god cannot send a man to pay what is house rent honestly speaking listen to me shall men give there was a man sent to joshua selman from god like a man sent on assignment there were many widows in zarafat but i don't know what that widow did that made God send Elijah to her. People have been sent to this ministry. And my goodness. They have done things in this ministry we will never recover from. Sent by God. Not even members of Koinonia. There was a man sent from God. Hear me yo. This is the antidote to a life of hardship and struggle. You can call people. But the day God sends a man, it will not make sense. He will sit in your house, you are not around. But he will remain there till evening. Who are you, sir? I had a dream, oh, God sent me to you. And he said, I should help you. That you must rise. Do you know my father, sir? That's even, the man himself, the, the sendee, is surprised. He doesn't even know why he's coming to you. Ah. Listen. We are praying and we are rounding up. But I want to say this. My prayer for you is that God will do something in your mind to make you believe it is men that lift men. 
it is God that gives the instruction but the physical lifting is by men the position you need to rise to now there is a hand already that can lift it hallelujah someone was producing eggs real eggs just a woman started a business with poultry and was producing eggs and was crying that God will help her true story all of a sudden she was she was even passing and she felt led to enter a church and they were praying or something when they finished she just greeted somebody who gave her a lift she did not know that that man was the owner of a hotel a new hotel that just started and from that time the man told that she would be the sole supplier of everything poultry to that hotel now you would think you are doing the same business with a woman that man is not doing business with her he's a millionaire he's helping her there are men who do things not because they want anything they want to help you are we together I have seen the help of men someone will look at you and say do you have a company you say no sir you say why you say come there is something I want to make sure you are part of it so that you will get something you will think the something is 10 naira until you see what comes out of it you will run home and say everybody rejoice they are crying say don't cry for what rejoice God has answered us God answers men by sending men are we together you can be planning your marriage and somebody just gets up and says bring me the total budget how much is it he says I is three million he say I'm surprised with recession is still three million uh, I would do something about it you think he's going to give you cow of 120,000 until you see an alert of 4 million you say sorry I couldn't do much look at me I want to be very honest with you you belong to this ministry how do you think we run this ministry have you ever thought about it be very honest there is a supply that can come from heaven oh. there is a supply you see our our Muslim brothers who come with their bosses and stay for hours they are not stupid to come and park for 30 minutes and be watching and then carry you happily back if there is nothing coming to them that rewards all the time they are staying make make Just one more time. Make you ma, make you ma, make you ma. lift your hands in the name of Jesus I decree and declare over your life I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus that everything that sways your belief about God every lie the devil is using to cheat you I command that the shield of faith works for you in the name of Jesus and because you have believed the word of the Lord that he has declared I call men in the name of Jesus you see I think it was Isaac or Shadi, I can't remember which of them while they were leading prayers they shared something powerful God allocates times for the manifestations of things Isaac sowed and within that period the required period of harvest it worked there is no reason why you should get to day eight God is not stupid he didn't say eight days he said seven days I decree and declare that between now and Friday wherever these men are if they are on earth I call them to you in the name of Jesus Christ I call them to your family tonight I release dreams to their lives 
I release visions about you to them. I decree and declare they will arise tonight and surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase you. Now, our time is gone. Everybody, please just stand. Just give you an instruction. Let me guide you on how we're going to do the fast now. Please, everybody listen. Today is Tuesday. Tomorrow night will be the last night you are going to be breaking. Are we together now? Yes. From Wednesday night is a marathon stretch. The next three days is going to be fire in this place. Are we together now? Just trust God for grace. Are we together? Mm. So tomorrow night, you come and we rejoice. And there are things we are going to uproot and tear down. Please don't miss it. I want that by Friday, because Friday is an impartation. I'm going to be anointing you on Friday. That with these seven days, remember, I told you on Friday, you are going to come with any point of contact. A document, whether your business proposal, whether certificate for your parents, that jobless thing they have been having for years. Just beg them, even if they don't come, say, please, I will handle it well. Let me just bring it. Hmm. It was when they went around Jericho seven times, there was a shout that came up from there. And the Bible says every wall crumpled and they could go inside. Are we together? So please, I'm saying this so you don't forget. Aside from those who are pregnant or if you are if you have any medical condition we have a lot of doctors here after service you can just wait and see any one of them i'm sure they should be able to at least likely do any consultation so you don't destroy your health god is maybe i'm sure that maybe tomorrow and subsequently you notice we've not taken our time to pray for the sick maybe tomorrow or any of the days we'll pray for the sick and take testimonies not like miracle service we'll pray and then take testimonies hallelujah but it's going to be very serious so tomorrow night prepare your heart i will guide you by tomorrow night on how you are going to do it because some of you may not be able to bear it we don't want to stretch on necessary but i will tell you how there is a, a formula there's a way you sustain yourself like this so that you don't destroy your health if you have any medical report please if you if your wife is pregnant please make sure that they don't stay and then our little children they can break our little children 12 o'clock that's all right for those who got grants grace they want to stretch by three or four it's okay don't let the little children stretch unnecessarily they will grow but you are an adult you will not die receive grace from god and stretch one of the ways to maximize strength in fasting is to stop loitering around praise the lord loitering around is a cheater people it it will it will collect everything and destroy you and rob you of the strength and all of that you need to sustain conserve your energy and pray you are hopping today you go and watch ball then you finish and go to the room you are not eating no leave the ball if they score a goal you will hear you can find out online you can watch the rematch again settle with your destiny and let the god of heaven arise for you are we together now praise the lord but please take this night remember everybody wake up in the night wake up in the night say i will wake up please put an alarm clock wait even if it's for 20 minutes wake up in the night if you wake up wake your friend if he quarrels you just leave him back let him lie down you can wake up trust god five ten minutes struggle on the bed to stand up fully ten minutes you are up and open scripture don't pray nonsense prayer we're praying with understanding find a scripture lord this is what you have said and use the mystery of the night time program you are impregnating the womb of the morning the bible says and while you are making utterances and declarations you are making declarations by the spirit and you watch what god does in your life are we blessed let's share the grace god bless you the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore amen god bless you and see you tomorrow Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. 
I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.